watch the Kafai on the YouTube video, they choose to use the torch as a weapon. I'm going to do the same thing because for the size like my little truck, I think it's a good option. It's not like battle bug, you can use a spinner and other heavy things. But if someone has nails or someone tries to uh, come at me with their torches also, it's going to burn a hole and it's going to explode. The metal pieces is going to you know, fly everywhere. I know it's um, not strong enough even when I use the aluminum tape. It's stupid, it's not safe, don't try it at home. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway because um, I think it will buy me some time even when they try to come at me. Uh, and then I will, uh, at the same time, I will try to uh, attack them also. I will try to chase them and burn them. And uh, since my little truck is so slow, I cannot compete with them with my speed. I have to come... I know they're going to come at me. Everybody is going to come at me. And uh, But I will try to burn them and I will try to... Uh, Actually, I, I would be looking forward to see if it explodes, someone tried to nail me and then and someone knocked me down and then it explode and then maybe they will, uh, you know, uh, burn to pieces also, then I will win. I don't even need to, you know, run around because I'm not a good driver and I can't mm -hmm. do that. Um, then I will like wrap it like this, this is the other can. I uh, wrap before so it'll be like this and if they try to poke me in something and of course it will explode and the pieces will fly but I think it will probably keep it together since I've already got the torch and the little truck uh, I don't want to spend more money on uh, this little project maybe it will all end up goes in flame and then you know it's a waste of money uh, I will. I'm only just gonna try to use everything around me in the in my workshop, like this uh, aluminum. I will try to put the aluminum around my little truck, like all over, so that uh, prevents it from rolling over when other people try to attack me. And also, if you spend more money on a little project like this, it's just like cheating. It's just for fun. If I lose, I lose, but. Uh, I'm pretty confident, so I probably will win, who knows. Uh, this little physical object I printed is called the Gong Dot. Uh, I want to uh, impose this idea on my little truck. I will try to make a cage based on this shape and prevent it from boring over.
I'm going to put the aluminum tape on the side to protect my truck. Uh, I think it will buy me some time. It won't do much, but it's very cheap and uh, I have tons of it, so I figure why not use some of it. I'm going to put this aluminum around my truck, like uh, here and here. Uh, there is a special tool for the shape, but I don't have it. I only have the multi fender tool, so I'm going to use that one. I have this thin silicone sheet um, on the table. Originally, I want to use this uh, for baking instead of wax paper, but I never get a chance to use it. Uh, re recently, I just took it out, and then I thought I can wrap this around my truck as a source, some sort of protection. Of course, it's not fireproof, but um, I think it can be fire resistant. I will try to demo.
Final Four, it works pretty well, but I don't want it to just um, stay like this and want to remove it first. So I got the acetone here. It's pretty nasty. Um, I have the windows, everything open, but uh, I want to remove this so it looks better from the outside. I've done a few test fitting, but I think this will be the last version and it will be ready to go. It's all done and uh, I've made a few changes um, you can see from the side and the handle I make a handle on the top uh, I'm calling it the battle bow bow means bao zi in Chinese it's like a bun with uh, meat inside like a steam bun um, and also like uh, dumplings it has the skin the silicone sheet here like the dumpling skin I don't know what uh, I don't know how well I will do tonight uh, because I've never done this before but I think I will have some fun at least. Um, I did some sourcing work for Limor and Philip at Adafruit and they pay way more than I deserve. So I used the money on my new projects and my new tools. They um, have had my back at since the beginning. And they always support the maker communities. I hope you can support them like they support me. So please go check out their uh, stores and websites. Thank you.